So, thank you. Thank you. Thank both of you for clapping. <laughs> David, please. Um, you know, free enterprise is not exclusively a Republican principle. Uh, and I'm concerned that the Chamber of Commerce seems to be very aligned right now with the Republican Party. And I'm particularly, would you address the Republican Party's, the Chamber of Commerce spending a million dollars in advertising in the last days of the, uh, of the Massachusetts Senate campaign and, and the appropriateness of that? Thank you. Sure. Uh, free enterprise is certainly not a uh, uh, the specific province of the Republican Party. We certainly uh, agree and disagree with folks on both sides of the aisle, and we want friends who agree with our issues on both sides of the aisle. Uh, we do get involved in elections, um, and we uh, uh, try to be as bipartisan as we can, uh, because we, for a whole variety of reasons, but we do think it's important to get business-friendly folks uh, from, both, uh, from both sides. And frankly, there are business unfriendly folks on both sides. Um, the, uh, uh, you know, with regard to uh, um, Massachusetts, you know, the, uh, the ability of the filibuster to, to stop some of these really stupid things is important. Uh, and uh, we institutionally uh, made the decision late in the, uh, the campaign in Massachusetts uh, that uh, there was, uh, he had a chance, which he didn't have weeks before, and that it was a chance to reset the clock on some of these uh, runaway train anti-business policies. Uh, it wasn't a Republican decision or Democratic decision. It was, uh, you know, what is the best chance we have to start over on health care? I'm not sure we're going to get there, but, you know, start over on health care. Uh, get some, uh, get some, slowing down on car check or bad energy policy. Uh, we do get involved in House and Senate uh, elections that we think are important for business. We do issue advocacy. We did spend a million dollars in the last weekend uh, of that campaign. Um, hopefully we had some beneficial effect. But I think in terms of the business, the prospects for the business community, um, I think the bulk of our members would say 2010 is looking better than it was. It's not looking great, but it's, <laughs> it's looking better than it was, so I'm going to defend that choice. Okay.
increased the debt in 18 months as much as the previous president did in eight years. Um, and so I'm not content saying that, though. You can't be the party of me too or I'm not quite as bad. And that's why I've advocated a, a balanced budget since I got there. Spending cuts, not just simply freezes. We need to make sure that we roll back and right-size government and actually have an alternative approach, not simply be content with being um, an alternative party. And so it's going to happen based on the people and the people that are elected in primaries and general elections this year. And so we need to make sure that we elect good people, state house, state senate, and all across the country. And it's going to be in our hands to make sure that we get the government that we deserve.